Please don't, don't insult that in my presence again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why they shout in my shop? What is that? Why would you insult her? Why would you insult her? Why they shout? Why would you not go my shop? Why would you defy her? Why would you not go to her? Why would you not go to her? Wait, let her tell me what she will do. Watch. Why would you do? Why would you do? I will do. I said, what would you do? I said, take your time. What would you do, madam? Take your time. What would you do? Let her hear me. What would you do? Why you take your hands off? What? What would you do? What? Idiot. Come and do it. Let me see. Idiot. What is your problem? What exactly is your problem, Ibere? I sent you to buy tomatoes. Just tomatoes. And you turned into a street fighter. You didn't even consider the fact that you were with a child. My child! I'm sorry, sis. You're sorry. Mommy, please. You know the reason why she was fighting because of me. What do you mean she was fighting because of you? That woman. That woman selling tomatoes. She called me a blind bat. I don't understand. Why would the woman selling tomatoes call my daughter a blind bat? She asked Lily to help her get nylon from her house. Lily went there, but she couldn't find it. And she entered the house and found the nylon. And when she came out, she said, this is not what you said, you couldn't find the blind bat. So I got upset and that was why I was there fighting. What audacity! First and foremost, why would you even allow her go into that woman's house? And what audacity does she have to even send my own daughter on an errand? Mommy, please forgive auntie, you know she loves me very much. I know. Eberi, this cannot happen again. Do you know if my husband was around, it would be a different ball game. He wouldn't even find it funny. Sis, I'm sorry. But I promise it won't happen again. Please go inside. What are you two whispering about? Sis, since we're not able to get the tomatoes. We just have to eat something else. Yeah, just ask Calero to warm up the vegetable soup and then tomorrow I'll go and buy the tomatoes for the stew myself. Street fighter. Yes, Lily? I'm hungry. Food will soon be ready, okay? But I'm hungry. Just give me 20 minutes and I promise you, ah. I'll call you. 20 minutes is too much, I'm hungry. Lily, go to your room, I'll call you. I'm not going anywhere. I will not go anywhere. I'm hungry. That's against the law. I will stay here. Lily, I want to go and eat myself. Don't touch anything. Maybe if I do this, it will go faster. There we go. Well, this is not going to stop. Here we go. Lily, what are you doing? I'm hungry. Drop this thing. What did you do this? Alero! Alero! What's the meaning of this? Lily, what, what are you... Don't ask her that silly question. What's wrong with you? I, eh? I went to eat myself. I told her not to touch anything. You went to eat yourself and you told her not to touch anything and you left a knife in her? Are you okay? What if she injures herself with that? I'm sorry, ma. It will never happen again. It will never happen again. Better keep that promise because your job depends on it. My friend, come and take this thing away from her. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I didn't even cut myself. I can do it more if you want me to do. Let's go. Bye, leaves. Bye, knife. Now, wow. Every time, shout, 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 shout. She didn't even cut herself. I guess if not the year would.
Mas vamos ver ainda. No, I'm, I'm really thinking of something. I see the way our daughter is close to her auntie Barry, and I think we should give her a brother. What do you think, Doc? I wonder what brought that up. You know, I was thinking of them walking my way up the ladder at work, but if this is what you want, I obviously cannot object. That's what I want. So, I'm ready whenever you are. Think I'm ready. Say don't realize just how special you are. Come here. Deep down in my heart. Hmm. Isn't that beginning to remind me today? Baby, what's up? Guess what? Madam, calm down and talk now if you want to talk. What's happening? Maurice is around, Ebere. Your long-time crush is around. Really? When? He called me last night to inform me that he's in town. Oh, wow. Nice. Anyways, he wants to meet with you before he goes to Abuja tomorrow. Wait, he, he's going back to Abuja tomorrow? And you want the lunch... No, 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 no. Why? It's not going to be possible. I'm babysitting. You are snoozing, no? Yeah, I'm babysitting Lily at home. I'm st yes, I can't leave her. For God's sake, you have been crushing on this man for four years. And so, even if I've been crushing on him all this time, I can't leave my baby at home now. It's not possible. Four years, a berry. Abigail, please, I'm seeing him some other time. You're not serious, so. Yeah, thank you so much. Barry, you don't have to keep telling me thank you. <laughs> like, you've been telling me thank you since I picked you, and then here we are, you keep telling me thank you. Yeah, because, I mean, I disappointed you the other time because I was taking care of my sister's child. You, Abigail, told me. And that's not what she told me alone. She just said you've been having a crush on me since the last week. Hell no. So this guy can't keep a secret. Don't you think such a good news should not be kept a secret for long? <laughs> okay, so is that why you requested to see me immediately you got back? That is the reason I came back to see you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have to take this. Oh, no problems. Hello, sis. And Barry, please, I beg you, I am stuck in traffic and Chima's number is not going through. Can you please help me pick Lily from school, please? Sis, you mean you've not picked Lily from school? Sis, look at the time, it's almost five. Are you deaf? Didn't you hear what I just said? I said I am stuck in traffic. I have been in the past two hours. Please pick Lily up. I'm not even at home. Where are you? I'm at Seaport Chop House and Bar. Oh my god, what am I going to do now? My you know what? I'll go pick her. How are you going to do that? Yeah, I'll pick her, don't worry, I'll pick her. Um, Royce, I'm so sorry, but I, I have to leave. Are you I'm going? So yeah, I have Can to. Can I at least drop you? No, that's fine, I'll find my way. Thank you. Honey? Yes, baby. Please, can you help me with the door? Okay. Yeah, I guess that's my friend. Uh, what's his name again? What is Morris! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Welcome to my house. You? Yeah, yeah. First of all, that's my beautiful princess, um, Choma. Honey, this is Morris, my very good friend. He's a doctor that calls himself, uh, is he therapist or psychologist? <laughs> nice to meet you, Maurice. Or should I say, shrink? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Come here! This girl, she hasn't slept since morning. She needs to sleep. Well, mommy, Auntie Iberi wants me to sleep when I don't want to sleep. Maurice. Iberi. What are you doing here? You two know yourselves? Um, yes, Iberia and I used to be long-time friends. Oh. Yes. Anyway, listen. 
You have to obey your auntie, okay? If she says it's nap time, then it's nap time. I don't want to sleep. Let's go. I don't want to sleep. Okay. Nice to see you, Morris. Okay. Mm. I don't want to sleep. Okay. okay. Mm. Can you get something to Yes, go ahead. What was she? Beautiful one. That's your daughter? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're doing well, man. Thank you. Thank you. So, how did you know my sister in law? Yes. Hey dear. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, where's Lily? Oh, she. Why is she in your room? Well, she insisted on seeing you before going to bed, and then she does stuff. Please sure. take her to her room now. Sure. Um, thank you very much for everything. Why are you thanking me? I mean, that's the least I can do for everything you've done for me. <laughs> but since I don't think you're spending enough time with Lily, yeah, I mean. Let's say I wasn't here. Who were you going to entrust her with? Alera. Thank you, Barry. The thing is, you're here. So I thank God. The thing is, you know I'm trying to climb the ladder at work. And that means I need to put in the hours. Your school fees is coming up. Once it's call of a strike, you will need it. And I can't keep stressing my husband. You know. But I understand. I'll just pick up and bring her upstairs. Thanks. Mm -hmm. What would you guys have for dinner? Yeah, just food. Oh, okay. Yeah, hello, babes. You, when you come in, uh, yes, the same spot we were the last time. I wasn't comfortable leaving her with the maid. Is there a problem? There's no problem. It's just that I felt, you know, we could have some private time in a secluded area. Just me and you. Really? What's, what's wrong with her being here with us? Okay. Waiter! So why are you looking so Are you okay? Hmm? Fine. Many. Okay. Mm, I would like the um, jello fries, turkey, and ice cream. Lily, <laughs> jello fries, turkey, and, and ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. Um, okay, whatever it is, she said she was happy. All right, thank you. And thank you. did you place your order? Give me my usual drink. So, babes. You okay? Of course, it's so fun. <laughs> You're having so much fun? Yeah. Iberi. Yeah? Thank you for honoring my invitation. Yeah, I was turned between coming to see you and staying back home. At least I had to come. Evening, baby. How are you? Good Hi. evening. Hi. Where are you coming from? Did you enjoy yourself? Yes. It was so fun. Like, we went to that uncle's house that we saw the yes, other day. Yes. We yes. 
We went ate jello fries and turkey. We ate ice cream. We had almost everything. We went to the park. Oh, you did? Yes, you really missed out. No, I didn't miss out because you are going to tell me all about it once I come upstairs, okay? It is better when it's in real life. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make do with the gist. Upstairs now. Okay. Season. We get to go to I need to go take off my clothes. Upstairs now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I miss you already. Where do you get off taking people's kids out to go visit men without their permission? I'm sorry, sis. That is very bad behavior. You don't take people's children out like that. Besides, not even to a man's house. That is so irresponsible of you. Sorry. Don't let it repeat itself again. Do you understand me? Lily. Mom is coming. <laughs> what fun are you talking about? See, there's no fun here. All the fun is happening there in Abuja. I wish I could even get a weekend date in there. Tell me. Did he pop the question the other day during your date? What question? To be his girlfriend, of course. <laughs> no. There was nothing like that. And even if he wanted to, I don't think he would have been able to. Because I was there with Lily. You took Lily with you to a date? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Abigail. You know all the things my sister has done for me, so you expect me not to take care of her child? Ebra, your sister has her life all figured out. <laughs> if you know how careless her level is, you won't tell me to leave him in her hands. Ebra, if you miss your chance with Maurice, then I'm really sorry for you. <laughs> I beg you, Madam Matchmaker. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil anything, all right? Exactly. I'm not spoiling anything between Maurice and I. Yes. Do you know I didn't even tell you? Maurice is my um sister's husband's friend. It's a lie. Yeah, I'm telling you, he was in our house. <laughs> See, I am it up in my phone. Let me go and take a shower. It's not me long that I just walked into the house. All right, now, good night. Bye, Yara. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Come here! What's wrong with you? Mom, please, I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? How can you trash the food that I gave to you? Do you know, do you know how we suffer to make money? You think your father and I pluck money from trees? Please, I'm, mom, please, I'm sorry. No, you don't just get to do stuff and say sorry. Mom, you do your time, and your time means that you're not going to have lunch until it's dinner time. What's going on? Hey, imagine your niece. She trashed the food that I gave to her at the backyard. Lily, why did you do that? I didn't like it. The food that I prepared for you? And the best you could do was to throw it away, Lily. Alero. Listen, Alero, no lunch for her today, okay? She will eat when everyone is eating dinner. Do you understand me? Yes, do not flounce my orders, because if you do, you know what I will do to you. Okay. Good, you can go. Go to your room. I said go to your room! Upstairs, now! Don't get involved! To your room! I said I'm not allowed to have food until dinner. But you're hungry. Huh? That's why I made notice. Don't worry, mommy's already in heaven, okay?
she's not having a cake. What's happening here? You what? I specifically said she shouldn't eat until dinner. And you decided to do otherwise. I'm sorry, she said. Eberia, you're beginning to piss me off. Take this food. Get the head out of this room. Next time, when I make something for you and you don't like it, you tell me, don't throw food away. There are so many children out there who don't have food to eat. That's bad behavior. Okay. It's okay. Come, let me make you something to eat, okay? Okay. Let's go. Can I bring my yucky? Yes, you can. Is this more than this drink? Alero. Alero. Ma. Yes, ma. Is this not Lily's drink? Oh, my goodness. I must have forgotten to put it in her lunchbox. She must have forgotten to put it in her lunchbox. What are you thinking? No, ma, I did. You know she usually carries two Capri Sun. I think I put one instead of two. You think? You know, I've always known you to be incompetent when it comes to taking care of Lily. I just wonder what my sister sees in you that she trusts you so much with her daughter. Just have to take this to her. No, no, ma. She can manage one for today. She can manage one for today. So she can be malnourished, yeah? Please excuse me. Why did you go to Lily's school to disrupt her teacher? No, I didn't do that. I only saw her caprison in the kitchen and I know how much she likes it, so I took it to her school. I didn't even spend up to five minutes in her class. Alero. Ma, welcome, Ma. Why did you not pack her lunch bag properly? Oh, Ma, I did, but I didn't realize it was just when I packed until Madame Bear saw it. I told her that Lily can manage well for today, but she insisted on taking it to her school, so she's not malnourished. Don't let it happen again. I'm sorry, Ma. Right now, take her to the room, make sure she takes a shower, and feed her before it's nap time. Do you understand? Upstairs. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're my sister. I love you so much but nothing compares to the love that I have for my child. So I need you to pipe down. This closeness you have with her, it's not working for me, okay? But sis, I'm just doing exactly what you'd have done for me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. 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 Y
thank you. Yes. Um, you can sit. Yeah, you have a nice place. Thank you. You are welcome to my little hiding place. Well, this is not little. It's nice. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, um, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. What would you want me to offer you? No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Finally, we have privacy. Just me and you. You didn't bring your little niece. Oh, Lily, yeah. Um, I didn't come with her because my sister is at home. So, I had to leave her. But even at that, I still feel I should have come with her. Yeah. I mean, I don't just feel okay leaving Lily. Yeah. I feel incomplete when she's not with me. Really? Yeah. I mean, nobody takes care of Lily like I do. Are you saying you take care of her than her bed mother? Well, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that... Yeah, there's just this feeling of not being okay, being worried when Lily's not with me. I mean, you know, she's a very nice girl. Mm. She's an amazing child. Like, she's that child every mother should have. Mm. Yes, she has a heart of gold. She's already a giver at her age. Oh. Yeah, Lily's ready to share anything and everything with you. I agree. I tell you, she's an amazing child. Lily is an amazing child. So, so amazing. Yeah. Boy, Perry, please, can we talk about ourselves? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I've been talking too much. No, 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 you were not talking too much. I was actually enjoying it. Oh, okay. But just that I felt, you know, we could get to talk about ourselves. All right. You see, Iberi, I really do like you. Like, I like you. And I would, I would want us to be just more than friends, you know, more than alike. Iberi, please, would you be my girlfriend? Please. And how do you think my sister's husband is going to take that? That wouldn't be a problem. We've actually talked it over. Oh, uh, really? Yes, we did. And he doesn't seem to have an issue with that. Okay. All right. Is that a yes? We'll just, just give it a try. Please just say yes to me. I just said we'll give it a try. Does that mean say yes? Come on, please, um, what would you want to have? Um, water. No, I have juice. Water is fine. I have juice. Water. I have juice. Water. I have juice. Thank you, water. <laughs> oh, let me know if how Lily is. See, Barry, I understand. She shouldn't have hit you that much. You're not a kid for crying out loud. You're an adult. I feel bad. See, I think you need to reduce the amount of affection and love you show to that child. Because your sister clearly is not comfortable with it. <laughs> well, I can't. Why can't you? Like, Iberi, why can't you? It's very clear your sister doesn't want you showing such affection to her child. See, this is going to grow into obsession and it's clearly not good psychologically for you. How? How is that you reduce the affection, just like your sister said, allow the mother to take decisions that consigns her child, so it doesn't result in unhealthy competition? Please. So it's not my fault that I love this child like I do. It's not my fault that I was there when Lily was giving birth to. I mean, this is a child I've been with since she was born. It's only normal for me to love her the way I do. I'm not saying it's your fault, babes. It's never your fault. But what I am saying is, please reduce the rate at which you show affection and love to her. Please. Right. Yes, so, so um, how about we go grab pizza and ice cream? I'm not in the mood to go anywhere. I'm fine. Baby, please, let's go get pizza. Okay, let's take a walk. I'm okay. I just want to be left alone. It's okay. Okay, if you're gonna sit here, then sit next to me. Just next to you. Uh, if you allow me, I will. 
want to just stop. So I'm not in the mood. I'm honestly not in the mood. Please. Okay. 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 So I should get you something to drink. I'm okay with what I've been looking forward to give to you. Baby, but I have chairs. Please. <sighs> so, when next are you traveling to Netherlands? You know, um, <coughs> I've never really told you. I don't intend traveling anytime soon. Seriously? Yes. I want to open up businesses. You know, we have to invest in this country. Hmm. And then I, I want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want to join the married men club? I have to. See, Momsi wouldn't stop reminding me every day how much a wife I need. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I guess uh, my sister-in-law is the lucky one, huh? Chima, that is the question as well as the problem. Yeah. See. I don't know if a baby loves me the way I love her. Because um, most times um, we cannot have a successful conversation without her bringing up Lily. I understand the attachment and see, the type of love a baby has for Lily is that of a mother to a child. Oh, well, um, see, I understand the fact that she cares about my daughter and I really appreciate it, trust me. But that shouldn't be an excuse in your relationship. See, it's, it really bothers me. Do you know that most times before I start up a conversation, I have to mention Lily as a topic? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You are joking, right? Chima, I cannot be joking with this. Serious. Well, uh, it's, it's quite understandable. Trust me, you know. Um, when my wife, Shoma, had our baby Lily, you know, a burial sister stood in for the Omoga, right? Obviously, we all know their both parents are dead. Yeah. So she did all the care of um, my wife and my daughter. So I guess that's where that attachment came from. It shouldn't be something that should bother. Now you're making sense. I think that is, that is where the whole thing started. My brother, trust me, it shouldn't bother you. Just go ahead and pop the question. It's not an issue. And you don't? You don't have a problem with that. What do you mean by I don't have a problem with that? Are the both of you not adults? Chima! <laughs> Come on, for crying out loud. You met her before I knew you, so what's there? Chima, you're a nice person. I beg. And I really do appreciate you. Just do what you're supposed to do, that's all. Uh, let's not digress too much. Um, you know, this is your business thing that you're talking about, Sorry. you know? I think instead of selling those property, I think you should lease them. That's what's trending in this country. Do you know, I, I never thought about it. Really? <laughs> you know, you know I'm, I'm not in this country. Maybe you have to pull me through. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? Shima, thank you very much. You're welcome, man. Babe. <sighs> hey. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. What? Maurice will not kill me with talk. Really? <laughs> ah, he started with um, his property that he wants to sell in Abuja, blah, blah, blah. She's helping with clients. And I'm like, why do you want to sell your property? You can actually lease it and make more money and still have your property. From there, he went into your sister's issue, how she complains. and. And then, then that she gives all attention to our child, Lily. She, he doesn't actually understand how if he doesn't start a conversation with Lily, your sister will never give attention so to So wait, it. you guys just started talking about women. That's all you do. Honey, stop now. He was complaining about how he feels. And he's really worried. So, I mean... It's alarming in a way. Yeah, it is. Though I don't blame your sister, trust me. I don't. Because as he was saying all that, I could I could flash back to 
my eldest sister, when she had her baby, my mom visited her in the hospital, didn't even give any single attention to her. Went straight to her grandchild. I'm not joking, though. Know. Everything was carrying the baby. Oh, my grandchild. So for me, I'd rather say, you remember, she's the one that did all the yamoga for you, you know? Cleaning all the pool, changing diapers, carrying the baby, backing her, and all that. So it took it for her to have that kind of attachment. So I shouldn't be worried then? I don't think you should be worried. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. But I want to sleep. I'm very tired. You need anything to cook? No, 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 honey. It's sleeping time. I just need these lights off and I'm good. <sighs> yeah, you can watch soon. Don't be so... So, people in a relationship don't call their best friends, Abby. Are you crying, Eberi? No, I'm okay. Stop it. You know you can't lie to me. Your voice is shaking. Have you been crying? Or are you crying? <sighs> is it about Morris? Well, I... I don't know, but it's just as if everybody just has a problem with the way I relate with Lini. They just feel I'm doing too much. Who is saying you're doing too much? I mean, what is my crime in showing a little child that I brought up all by myself love? Many of us are not used to seeing people show their sisters love, the type of love you show Lily. Maurice also complained about it to me. Maurice said that? Yes, he did. He said something about you not interested in having any conversation that has to do with Lily. He thinks it could be a psychological problem. Harry said I'm doing too much and I'm behaving like I have a psychological problem. Not like he reported you to me. He was only trying to explain. Okay then. Yeah, I'll talk to you much later. Oh, I don't think I'm in my train of mind to talk now. I'll call you back later, right? Who's that? Come in. Hey, babe. Yes, Morris. This is a surprise. You didn't tell me you were coming or something. Please come and sit, sit. Well, I didn't have that time to sit. Babe, what is going on? At least sit down. So you have a problem with me. And instead of you to talk to me about it, you went ahead to talk to Abigail about it. Baby, please. Can you sit down while we talk this out? Okay, Abigail is my friend too. I only told Abigail the plans I had for us and how you're not giving me the opportunity to execute those plans. I didn't tell her nothing else. Alright, so you told Abigail about the plans you have for us and um, how I don't let you carry out those plans because I'm always talking about Lily. So you have a problem with a seven years old girl. You're jealous of her for what? Yeah, how can I be jealous of a seven years old? Okay, so this is the thing. If you are not comfortable with me talking about Lily, that means you're not comfortable with me. And I am not comfortable with you. For that reason, this relationship is over. No, Don't no, me. babes. No. Babe, please. Hello, big girl. Hey, Barry, what is wrong with you? Did you break up with Maurice? <laughs> oh, so Maurice came running to you, huh? Let me remind you that Maurice is my friend too. My very good friend. Abigail, I cannot be with someone who is jealous of my niece. You sure say village people know they worry you so? Abigail, I cannot be with someone who does not accept to the things that I love. No, I can't. I thought you liked Morris. Of course. See, I'm not disputing the fact that I like or yes, I feel something for Morris. Yes, but I cannot let what I, I feel for him make me stupid to the extent that I choose him over my niece. It's not possible. How can Morris be jealous of Lily? 
Does that make any sense to you? Serif Amiyase, whose side are you exactly? Of course, I am on his side. He didn't deserve this treatment from you. Really? You need help. You have a problem psychologically. Jaden, it's fine. Then it's better you stop speaking to me because I cannot be friends with someone that supports... Yes, I can't be friends with you when you support someone that doesn't support the things that I love. Yeah, I don't have any business speaking to you, all right? Thank you. Yes, I don't. Bye. Rubbish. I mean, what is wrong with everybody? Mommy, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, mommy, no. please. You cannot keep saying sorry when you do bad things. You have to do your time. I keep telling you. What kind of behavior is this? No, I will train you properly. That's not how to behave. This is what you to stay away from this. Stay away from me. Don't ask me. Alaya, what happened? We caught her stealing Chucky from the pot. Stealing? Lily, why didn't you ask Alaya for the Chucky? Give me your hands. I will give you six strokes of the cane. <laughs> next time, you will not steal from my pot again because now it's a pot. The next thing you're going to go steal from my wallet. I don't know where you got this kind of behavior from. Give me your hand. Quickly. Quickly. Give it to me. Give me your hand. No. Sis, don't flog her like that again. Don't Leave flog her. I said let's go. Oh, man, stop now. Ah, this kid is just a child. What's all this? Uh, we can go to your room. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. You want to beat me? Eh? No, 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 no! Fight me now. You are a street fighter. That is what you do for a living right now. No, beat me. Beat me. You have no beats. I don't want to disrespect you. I'm only looking out for my niece, that's all. You are looking out for your niece. Your niece is my daughter. Do you understand? Your niece is my daughter. And there's nothing you can do about it. Your niece. Your niece is my daughter. Your niece. Your niece is my daughter. Your niece is my daughter. Your niece is my daughter. No sense. Never thought a day like this would come where I'll get this worried about my sister and my daughter. It was all fun at first, but this is getting out of hand. Why would she be so overprotective of Lily? She's even protecting her from me. Me, her mother. No, this has to stop. This has to stop. I am no longer finding this funny. Hey, Dad. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm enjoying this game. <laughs> you are? Yes. So I'd love to relocate to Canada. Why? Um, because I'm just thinking of what's best for Lily and I. Honey, you have a great job. And you just got a promotion with a very good salary. Why would you want to leave all that and relocate to Canada? Honestly, it's just what's best for Lily, to be honest. And honest, darling, please, I've really thought about this. I've thought it through and I've made up my mind. Please, I really hope you understand. Okay, I see you have got this whole thing figured out before getting me in your plan. No, 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 no. I don't have anything figured out. I just thought about it and concluded like a few days ago. And besides, you know, this country is not really safe. You know, you, with all the kidnappings, with the, with the bomb blasts, with the, babe, with the robbery. Babe, babe, and... babe, this thing happens everywhere in the world. Yeah, but it's not as bad as this now. You know what? I cannot prove this. I'm really sorry because our daughter cannot relocate from this country until she clocks 16. I'm telling you, the, mm. the way Lily is so attached to, to my sister, and, and you know that it's best to just, you know, separate her from the situation so she can live a healthy and normal life, you know? And... 
babe, are you kidding me right now? She wants to separate our child from her parents just because your sister is playing the role of a mother to her? No, 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 no. If you have a problem with that, why don't you send your sister away? But I can't now. I'm the only one she has. Since our parents died, she's, she's just been like, you know, my closest, closest ally. And you saw the way she helped me when I had um, Lily. How can I send her away? Think about it now. I'm sorry. I am not going to deny our daughter her parenthood just because of your sister, right? So if you have a problem with it, send your sister away from the house. This conversation is over. I need to eat. Serve me my food. Please, no. Because of that, God, take my, take my child and... Lily, darling, I hope you're enjoying the meal I specially prepared for you. Yes, mommy, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah. Mommy, mm -hmm. tomorrow is parent social day in school. Mm, that's true. I nearly forgot. I'll be there. Um, by the way, I wanted Auntie Eberi to come. You want Auntie Eberi to go with you? Why? Because you're not fun. Um, <clears throat> Lily, your mom is the most fun mom in the world, right? Daddy, stop lying. Mommy is not fun. She said it herself. She said, fun is a distraction. Fun is a distraction. Mm -hmm. Lily. Your mom will go to school with you tomorrow. But daddy... I do not want to have this conversation. Do you understand me? Okay, daddy. And what do you say? Lily, your mom is fun too, okay? It's just what that's been taking her time. So she'll go with you to school tomorrow, is that fine? Daddy, don't give her that look. Don't make her look. Come with me, don't make us any more. She's instigating my daughter against me. I mean, with what she said, she just sat there and said nothing. I actually expected her to say something. You know what? I think it's high time I said things straight with your sister. No, 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 no. Why? She's making you very uncomfortable, darling. Do you actually know what she did recently? She just called off her relationship with Morris. She says she's not interested anymore. Why? That Morris is jealous that she is giving attention to Lily. What sort of talk is that? You know what? I think there's something emotionally unstable about your sister. I think so too. But you know what we can do? I think we can send Lily to the U.S. to spend time with your parents. By the time she returns, my sister would have gotten used to her absence and everything would go back to normal. I think it's a fantastic idea. Great. I should call my mom immediately. Yeah. That's what I should do. Yes. I think we still have our visas. Yeah, six months to a year. Great. So I'll, I'll just book the ticket. Can you just do the ticket or call the agent? Yes, I will. While I call my mother. Fantastic. Okay. Right. I need to find my phone. 
Yeah. I know, Joe. Yes. I'll be the only one returning. No, Lily will be staying back. And if I had told him that Lily won't be returning, he wouldn't have approved of the trip. Okay. Okay. I'll be awaiting your feedback. Thank you. Thanks. Reasons are valid. Hey, darling. Hi, Mommy. Are you going to apologize to Mommy for what you said to her last night? I'm sorry, Mommy. It's okay. I don't want you to ever think that Mommy isn't fun, okay? Because Mommy is a lot of fun. Okay, Mommy. Okay. Guess what? What? Grandma misses you. I miss Grandma and Grandpa so much. I wish you could see them. Then guess what again? What? We are going to see Grandma and Grandpa. Yes, we are going to America. Yes, we're going to America. <laughs> okay, is Daddy and Auntie a baby? Really no, 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 no. Daddy has a lot of work to do. And Auntie Barry is also very busy. It's just going to be you and I on this trip, and it will be loads of fun, I promise. Okay, I wish Daddy could come. Okay, so how about we go first and then daddy can join us later. Okay, mommy. Great. Let me go and tell Auntie Barry. No, 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 no. Don't tell Auntie Barry just yet. So we can surprise her. Okay? Okay. Great. Promise me you won't tell her. Promise. Good. <laughs> We're going to America. Oh yes, I will um, send it to you right now. Of course, Joe. Yeah, I'll send you the data pages right now. Okay. All right, so I have... Uh... Joe, hold on. I'll call you right back, okay? Babe, what are you looking for? Spot, so I, I've only seen mine. I can't find Lily's wallet. I kept it in here, inside this drawer. But I, I can't. I can't seem to find it. Lily's passport is gone. That's mine. It's possible you can't remember where you kept it. Come on, Archim. I'm not stupid. I saw it with my own two eyes. I kept it in this drawer, and I came here now to send uh, Joe the data pages, and I can't see. I can't find it. I can't find Lily's passport. It's gone. Then if you can't find it, it simply means your psychopath sister must have taken it off. Please, don't call my sister a psychopath. She's not a psychopath. And besides, she doesn't know of the plan, so why would she take the passport? Hold this, hold this, hold this. It was here, man. Lily. Hi. Hi, baby. Um, did you take your passport from my room? Your passport? Your international passport. What's that? Did you take anything from my room? No. So who must have taken your passport from my room? Auntie Berry. What? I saw Auntie Berry coming out of your room. Right? You did what? Thank you, darling. Thank you. Yeah. Can I have Lily's passport, please? Shuma, why do you want to separate Lily from me? You called me by my name. 
And what are you talking about? Lily is my child. Do I need your permission to take her away? Is she your child? Yes, she is my child. I won't let you take Lily away from me. What are you even talking about? What's going on here? Honey, I heard. Honey, what more evidence do we need to prove that your sister has gone mad? Well, I'm not mad, Mr. Chima. Lily is my child and she knows it. Please, stop. Stop what? Mommy, am I Aunt Eber's child? No, 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 you're not, sweetie. I, I had you, I carried you in my stomach for nine months, so... Alero! I watched you all through the stages of pregnancy. I was with you when you had Lily. So why is your sister laying claims on her child? She's psychotic. You said so yourself. You said to my since you've decided not to be considerate. You don't deserve my loyalty. Lily is my child and no one will take her away from me. Choma, what is your sister saying? What exactly is going on here? You promised. You promised on our late parents' graves. What promise are you talking about? Welcome, welcome. Come, 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 stay. <laughs> Sister. Welcome. Sister. This is your place. Court of mercy. Ah, Lord have mercy. <laughs> ah, Mr. God has been good to you. Short God has been good to us. Ah, my husband has been such a huge blessing. Stop wasting so I can say thank you to him for allowing me to come stay with you people. He went to work. Don't worry, when he comes back, you can say all the thank you you want to say. But for now, let me show you to your room, okay? So, Jesus. Take me on the tour later. Hey, God. Yeah, I'll go on the tour myself. Oh. Jesus is there. Right? It's negative again. Babe, I don't want you to think too much about this. It's taking too long. I know. There are people that have spent more than 10 years and they, they still do not have a child. I don't want to be there. You will not be there. You know what? I'm going to book an appointment with the doctor. Is that okay? Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You have to stay healthy. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Please, good morning. Good morning, Uncle. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. It seems you're traveling. Yes, I am. I haven't been taking any part on tomorrow. Oh. So I need to go to this so I can attend early. All right. So best of luck. Thank I'll you. miss you so much. Yep. Oh, come on. I'm already missing you too, darling. <laughs> come here. Oh, you don't want to miss your flight. That's all. This, this, this guy. Yeah, the driver is there. Okay. Hey. Says. Mm -hmm. well, well done. Thank you. Hope you're not missing on call already. I am. <laughs> but you know we're meant to go to the doctors today, so unfortunately that can't happen anymore. Hmm. Why? Is anything wrong with you or him? No. 
Well, we're just about to find out. It's been a year since we got married and no baby to show for it. Sis, just one year. Why? What are you checking? We just have to check to make sure that we're all clear and everything is good. <sighs> but, I mean, it's a family doctor. I can't go on my own. I guess I'll just have to wait for him to come back. Well, if you're that worried about it, maybe we can just go to another doctor then. I don't even know any other doctor. But you want to go? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just call her Abigail and ask her. I think she knows a lot of doctors, gynecologists and... Really? Yeah. Okay, just call her. I'm not doing anything today. The doctor is free. We can go. Okay, let me just finish up and then I'll call her. Okay, thanks. All right. <laughs> and don't forget to make breakfast. Sure. Insufficiency. At my age, I'm diagnosed with PUI. That means I can never bear children. Sis, sis, you just need to calm. Don't ask me to calm down. I'm married to a wonderful man like Chima, and this is what he gets. I can't even give him children. Sis, that's not true. The doctor said that people with PUI in some cases can still conceive. Five to ten percent. Did you not hear him? And you think you can't be among them? Do you know how long it's been since I was diagnosed? Obviously, I am not part of that statistic. I, I have to tell him. Tell whom? It's like waiting for a miracle to happen. I cannot keep deceiving my husband. I have to tell him. Sis, don't do that all. You want to tell him what? That's like telling your husband, oh, I can't have kids. I'm barren. You can't do that. Sis, please, you, you cannot do that, okay? You need to protect your home. Sis, please don't tell him. Sis, don't. Okay, please don't tell him this way. You're back? Yes, I am. Okay, how did you go? <sighs> the doctor said there's a way that I can conceive. Oh, God. So, what way? IVF. IVF? Yes, IVF. I, I need to find a donor for eggs and, um, and have Chima fertilize it. Since that means Uncle Chima has to be involved in all of this. Yes, I have to find a way to tell him. Sis, if I'm not comfortable with that one, how am I going to explain it to him? Are you asking me to keep a thing of this magnitude away from my husband? Sis, we'll find a way to handle this thing ourselves. <laughs> Please don't tell him. going to use to get the sperm out. If it's by the condom, the collection condom, or immediately after sex, go straight to the hospital and have the sperm extracted, as the doctor said. So yes. he really doesn't have to know. Exactly. <sighs> what I need to know, though, is who my egg donor will be, because I don't want any DNA of any crazy person. That one is very, very necessary. Exactly. But then again, has um, Uncle Chima asked you to go see the family doctor with him? Of course. But I managed to dodge my way out of it. I told him that I was also overreacting and I need to, needed to give myself some time. And, and he was okay? He agreed. Huh. I'm sure okay. I am. <laughs> Thank God. I'm going to get you something to drink. Thank you. But don't give me anything sugary. Okay. So I can keep my slim figure for when <laughs> I will be pregnant. <laughs> Okay.
Hey. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little bit under the weather. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want me to call in the family doctor? No, 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 no. Are you pretty sure? Trust me. I'll be fine. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Thank you. Well, um, the doctor called in to find out a perfect time to fix our appointment. You know what, darling, I think I'm actually just overreacting and this will happen at God's time. I mean, let's just keep trying as a couple and I'm, I'm sure it will, it, it will happen. Baby, I told you you are overreacting. Mm. Trust me. Don't worry. Huh? God will give us our baby in our own time. Amen. I love you. I love you too. Don't worry, I'm gonna be here with you. Thank you. Just try and get some sleep. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Sis. Who is this? The donor. The doctor sent to me. Is this person related to Uncle Chima? Can this person be related to Uncle Chima? Of course not. It's just the donor. So this person is not fine now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> no, I don't want this person's DNA. And she looks mean. Tell me, you look at her face. Let me just ask him to send me someone else. <laughs> How about I do it for you? What? Yeah, I do it for you. No, you can't do that. You're not meant to know the egg donors, literally. They just go to the hospital and, you know, just leave their eggs there for you and go. It's not meant to be family members. So, says you're comfortable with a stranger than someone you really know, your sister. That's not what I'm saying, but are you sure? What do you mean, Amisha? Of course I'm sure. It's just to go to the hospital to donate the egg. Nothing else. And do you won't tell anyone? Really? So, after doing that, I will go about telling people what I did for my sister. Okay. I promise. I swear on our mother and father's grief. I will not tell anyone. I trust you. Thank you. Thanks, I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, thank God. Not this person with this kind of face. <laughs> oh, oh, you are so ugly, child. I am excited now. Thank it's you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Like a perfect gentleman. And I hope this can go right. Let me see. Mm, I don't think you need it. Why? Because what you need is me. No, 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 honey, no. Uh, I, I need to go to work. Just a quickie now. No, baby, come on. I'm dressed to go to work. This is my right. I paid your bride price. No, no, no. You paid my groom price. I paid your bride price. Okay, I didn't pay anything. Just come on. Honey, Let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. Can we do this thing after work? Okay, okay, okay. Just give me. One. You just know how to spoil the minute. fun. Just one minute. Uh, let, let me. No, 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 no! Okay, okay, let's do it. Now! Okay, let's do it. Now! Let's do it now! Hey, Barry. Sis. I found a husband to have sex with me. I need to go. I need to out.
hope you're happy now. I hope you're satisfied and you're fulfilled. Lily is my child. She's my child. And you cannot take her from me. I won't let that happen. You're sick. I just want equal right. You're sick. Chama, leave me alone. Let's, let's at least talk about it. I beg you. Please! Did you just say please? I've known you for ten years. We've been married for eight years and you could hide something this huge from me? Choma, you and your sister has been fooling me in my own house. Please let me, let me explain. <laughs> well, I should have known. When I saw your sister acting weird towards Lily, I should have actually suspected. But because she's your sister, I just took everything for granted. <laughs> Congratulations, right? You played me right. Get your hands on me. So everybody's going to take you away from me. Okay. All right? Yes. You're going to stay with me. Yeah. You're not traveling anywhere without me. No way. Right? Yeah. You go with me anywhere I go. Yes. Your daddy will not take you away from me. Yeah. Your mama will not take you away from me. Maybe. Hi, daddy. Nobody's taking her away from me. Not you and not your wife. She's my child. She knows it. Let's go. Lily is my child because she has my DNA and I decide what happens to my child. She might have your sister's DNA, but she's not my daughter's mother. Chama, I need us to get our daughter back before your sister hurts her. That's what I've come to see you, my brother. See, you know, I think it's making a whole lot of sense now. This is a clear case of obsession. And believe me, it is psychological. <laughs> you don't, you don't really get it. She no longer allows anybody to get close to Lily. Even Lily herself is scared of her auntie. You will not believe that yesterday she had to back Lily for hours 
all through yesterday, like she's three months old. I don't understand. See, I, I, I have to tell you, she's suffering from um, OLD. What? what? What's that? See, OLD, it's an um, obsessive love disorder. It's a psychological problem that presents an overwhelming obsessive desire to extremely protect and dominate someone. Hmm. It's a rare case that is mostly seen among parents. Or in the case of a barrier, I think, you know, the attachment she had with Lily developed into the obsession. This is really serious. Yes, it is a serious case. Now, obsessive love disorder, like I said, is a case that is mostly found among parents. But most times you also see it um, among surrogate mothers or egg donors. Yes. You see, that is why most surrogate mothers find it hard to stay away from their child even after their contract elapses. So, Eberia knew that Lily had her DNA which is why this attachment led to this obsession. You see, the, the truth is, I, 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 I saw this thing. Oh. Yes, I did. But I only thought it was aunt extra care to her niece. You saw this thing? Yes, I did. Then why didn't you try stopping it? <sighs> and it developed to this point? See, the issue now is, or rather the question should be, what do we do now? She is holding my daughter hostage in my own house. Iberia needs help. And I think we need to take it a gradual process with her. <laughs> if we apply force, she's likely going to resort to violence. Oh? Huh? Yes. I'll volunteer to assist Iberia. What do we do? But if I cannot, or if it doesn't work from my side, we have to take her to a psychiatric home. Please, where is Iberia? She's in her room with my daughter, Lily. Can you take me to her room? Of course. Okay. Don't worry, it's, it's going to be fine. Don't worry. Um, 60 minutes, 60 seconds. Make one minute. Okay. 60 minutes, make one hour, 24 hours. One hour. Hours. 60, hour. 24 hours make one day. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Good evening, Uncle. Hi. Hi, babes. Morris. What are you doing here? Babes, see, I came to see you. I've really missed you. <laughs> You're so funny. Morris, you haven't spoken in weeks. I'm sure you're here because... My sister's husband called you. Lily, it's okay. You can go see your mom. All right? Let me talk to my friend. Silly girl. She thinks she's sneaking away. Babes, I've heard something. Okay. Is it true that you, you want to take your sister's child away from her? Take my sister's child away from her? Well, that's not correct. She, Chema, is the one trying to take Lily away from me. She planned on taking her out of the country without telling me. All I'm asking for is to have equal rights. I want to be a part of Lily's life too. That's all. See, babes, I really, I really do understand you. Can I have your hands, please? Why? Please. Why? I understand. Can we go for a walk? <laughs> it's funny everyone thinks I'm crazy. Babes, everyone is not me. I don't think you're crazy. But I think you'll feel better when you take a walk, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let me open it up. Hello, Rose. Things they happen, no. You know I've been telling you about my madam's younger sister. How she's always protecting my madam's daughter. Exactly. 
do you know my madam's younger sister is the mother of the child? I swear, how would I be lying with something like this? It turns out my madam cannot conceive, so her sister had to donate her eggs for my madam. As I speak to you right now, this house is upside down. What's my own? I'll just be in the kitchen minding my business. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'll give you the food just later. Let me go back inside now. Bye bye. What prompted you to seek therapy? Well, I'm sure Maurice must have told you everything you need to know. All right then. How have you been coping with the situation that brought you here? I never said I wanted to be here, Miss Therapist. Have you seen a therapist before? You know, this whole therapist thing sounds stupid to me. Hey, Barry. I can't help you if you don't talk to me. You love Lily, don't you? Exactly. Talk to me. What's your greatest fear? Being separated from Lily. What will you do if you're being separated from Lily? That's not going to happen. It will never happen. How connected do you feel with Lily? We're very connected. Lily's like my child. A lot of things she knows, I thought her. Just like a mother would teach her child. Okay. So what's keeping you from your goal? Of course nothing is keeping me. Nobody can separate me from Lily. <laughs> not her mother, not her father, not Maurice, not you, the therapist.
I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You hurt me. You hurt me so bad. I know better now, sis. I allowed my emotions to get the better part of me. And I sincerely regret all of my actions. Please. Choma, it's okay. She's really sorry. I can see it in her face. Choma, please. You have to forgive her. She she really regrets her actions. You see, she has accepted to see a shrink and her therapist is doing an amazing job. I think the only the only thing we can do for her is by forgiving and accepting her. Please. What am I supposed to say now? Please, please just say you're forgiving me. <laughs> if you reject me, who's going to stand as my mother on my wedding day? Wedding day? What wedding day is she talking about? Yes, um, a wedding. Well, I didn't tell you. I popped the question to a bear yesterday and she said yes. You're getting married. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Thank you, Oh, my goodness. Does that mean you're forgiving me? I can't stay mad at you forever. You're my baby sister. I love you. And I missed you. I missed you. Wow. So, how did you propose? We have a wedding to plan. Oh, yeah, man. We have to use that bowl, that new hall. It is so nice. And we have to talk about the food, the caterer. And of course, I know the perfect plan that we're going to use, you know? All I, mean, I hear is money, money, money. Come off it, Chima. Iberia is worth the money. Oh, no. How much, how much are we bringing in? It's my sister's wedding. Yes, it's your sister's wedding. He's coming, he's coming. Honey! Honey! Yes, we have to know. We have to come, know. come, come, come. Biggie Bella is here. Uh -uh. Hi. Hi. Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, no, 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 no. Hi. Oh, no. Well, oh, I no. came to take you to the house for weekend. Let me go pack my bag. Okay. Yes, okay. ask Auntie Alera to help you pack, okay? Okay, I'll okay. be quick about it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what can I offer you guys? Uh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry to ask her. Like my brother, I hope she's not stressing you too much. Because I can see she's the only one wearing all the weights. Can you see your head? So big. Oh, good too. But this one is just pregnancy fat. He's the one eating all the food in the house. If I if I want to say something now, they will start lying against a pregnant woman. <laughs> please, please, please don't stress my in law. Don't stress my in law. What would you like to drink? Water, right? And you? Whiskey? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Whiskey. Okay, I hope you're not driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah. This is for me. Yes, so. <laughs> time, time does fly. <laughs> Take it easy, Biggie Bella. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. easy. I don't understand. 
Wait, why is this girl always excited anytime she's going to your house? Because she's always playing Mortal Kombat with my PS5. Really? Ah, yes, really, eh? That PS7 or is it PS10 that I pre-ordered, I will no longer pay for it. You're just trying to make me jealous. You're bribing me. And perhaps there's no such thing as a PS10. You can always come to this place to play, okay? All right. Okay. Bye. Do not, I repeat, don't stress your auntie. You can see she's expecting a baby. If I hear any complaints, I will come straight there and pick you up. Still going to hug her. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sis! Good luck. All right. Bye. Are you sure you still want to have her? Yeah. I can take her back. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm just only a little bit. I'm gonna have fun with my PS5. <laughs> That PS10 is a real. You will miss her a little bit, but you miss me so much. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't driving. So you just wanted to drink this. So you drive, you just want to drive. You drank it. You're too big. You are a piece of my heart. Alright. Say Bye. don't realize Bye. just how special Mosa. you are deep down in my heart. Nobody Open the gates. Open the can gate. take you away. Open the gates. From okay. me. Okay. Yes. They can only try. I know it's crazy how much I love you, but I don't think it's a crime. They say it's just a crazy delusion. I don't believe it is true. They could see the connection, the bond that I have with you. Nobody can take you away from me. They can only try. Oh, I know it's crazy how much I love you, but I don't think it's a crime. Wish that they could see the connection